If one of our actors this season who's never been on the Muni stage were to call you right now and say, how do I manage this? What would you tell them? Because people are daunted if they've mm -hmm. never been here. Oh, sure. So what would you say? Um, I think the first thing is to realize in truth that it's very different. Because I think a lot of people think, well, it's just like being anywhere. It's not. It's really not. And of course, the principles of acting apply anywhere. But I think the idea of playing the Muni stage is a certain kind of projection that you have to have within you that goes out a little further than the first three rows in this theater, you know, because right. that's equal to ten somewhere right. else. Um, and just to sort of embrace it, because I think people, I've seen people let it scare them or overwhelm them. And it's the kind of thing, like, the more you embrace it, the more it is your friend yeah. rather than the other way around. If there's a young person watching this interview right now, throw out a couple pieces of advice that you would give them. In general? Yeah. Study. Study. Because now, I mean, you can get a long way on not knowing a lot. So the more you know, the better off you're going to be. You know, if you're a vocalist, study voice, for God's sake, so you can keep the voice. Right. Being able to sing is 10% of it. Being able to know how to sing and maintain it is the rest, you know. And I think it's easy <clears throat> for a lot of um, young people to bypass that because they, there is a path to bypass it, and it does pay off. Mm -hmm. But the choice to study acting so that you know what you're doing and how to do it and uh, so forth, I would recommend as a first thing for anybody. And it always sounds like a good academic and just what we need, you know. But it really makes a difference. And I can tell you, the people that I've worked with, with all due respect, the people that have some training are so much easier right. to deal with. Because the other people, there's a basic level of insecurity that they carry with them because they really don't know how to do what they're doing. They just know they can do it. But they stand next to somebody who knows how and immediately you see the tension start because they're like, why did you do that? Because that's how you do it, you know. Um, so I say that, first of all, study. Know what you're doing, and then you've got a key that nobody can take away from you. Um, that's really important. Save your money. That's <laughs> you well, know, yeah. it, as soon as you get some, save your money. Um, it's hard, you know. It's, it's one of the most difficult professions anybody could ever choose. And yet, it's probably one of the most gratifying because you actually are in service of other people. People think performers are so egocentric, but in truth, you're actually in service of other people continually. You know, and you think about it. I've done a lot of um, graduation ceremonies and different things for you know uh, theater schools, and I always tell them, don't let anybody convince you that you're insignificant because you're a performer. There is that out there. Yeah, they're performers. They don't count. They're not corporate people, they're not important. And the truth is, think of the world without television, without music, without any form of entertainment at all. None of it. Pretty drab. And while, you know, people don't always give us that credit, we should give it to ourselves because, you know, as my grandmother always said, no fools, no fun. <laughs> you know, which I take, that's my <laughs> motto, you know, no fools, no fun. Because there's nothing going on without the people that make the fun. And we are those people.